Hello everyone, I'm Eric with Midas and welcome to Music Studios. Today I have the M32, the flagship model in our M series of digital consoles. The M32 comes packed with the award-winning Midas microphone preamps, motorized faders, remote control mixing ability, even a full 32 channel audio interface, making it great for the live and studio setting. So let's take a look at some of the great features on the M32. Starting at the control surface, you will find 25 100 millimeter Midas Pro Series faders. These are rated for over 1 million cycles each. They are split up into 16 for your inputs, 8 for your outputs and DCAs, and one dedicated for the master fader. How this works is we basically have layers selectable from these four buttons. So if I'm on 1 through 16, it's on this button. 17 through 32, you press right here. Your third layer displays your auxiliary inputs, which are found on the six quarter inch input jacks on the rear of the console. Here we have playback from our dedicated USB two track recorder and return channels for the eternal effects rack. Each fader strip has its own mute and solo button with dedicated PFL metering that also displays compression and gate activity. But what's really awesome is the LCD scribble strip that allows channel naming with text and color and even has icons for you to utilize for a faster channel identification. At the top of each strip is the select button, which will select the channel and activates the channel strip for that channel. The controls for the channel strip are located right here at the top left section of the console. Starting with our gain control. The first encoder will control mic gain and digital trim with individually selectable 48 volts phantom power and polarity invert for each input. Next is a low cut that you can easily engage from the surface to dial right in. And you can hit the view button, which is found all over the console in each section to call up all the parameters for that section right onto the seven inch TFT color screen, making it very easy to find what you're looking for and dial it in quick. Next, we'll find our gate and compressor, which you can start dialing in right from the surface and then again hit the view button to call up more advanced parameters. Here we have a four band fully parametric equalizer featuring a vintage and parametric mode with shelving available as well. But what's really cool is that all graphic and parametric EQs on the M32 feature a full 100 band RTA real time analyzer that is displayed right on the screen. So you're not only hearing frequencies, you're seeing them too, really helping you dial in that perfect sound. Next are four encoders used to send signals to your 16 mix buses on the M32. So you got four encoders and four different layers similar to the faders. So if I'm on one through four, I can easily press five through eight and make any adjustments and so on. Finally, we have a master section on the channel strip where you can engage the mono bus using the encoder to make a contribution. You have an encoder for panning and the ability to engage or disengage from the stereo bus. That was the channel strip for your inputs and you have similar channel strip controls for your outputs. For all your mix buses, main left to right, and your six matrix mixes, you will have compression ability and the EQ actually becomes a six band parametric EQ. So lots of channel strip processing already available to you. The M32 features an eight spaced stereo effects rack with over 50 digital copies of some of the most revered outboard gear in the industry right at your disposal. Divided into two sections, the first four slots are used for your send and return type effects like reverbs, delays, and choruses. The second four slots are set up for insert points for dual or stereographic EQs and dynamic type processing. Plus right out of the box, you're already set up with two reverbs, a delay, and a chorus and eight channels of graphic EQs to start mixing right away. But it's easy enough to change the effect for whatever the mix calls for right from the encoders under the screen. Rounding out the control surface, we have some more controls on the right hand side of the console. A dedicated mute group section with six groups for muting multiple channels at the push of a button. You also have a very handy assignable section, which will allow you to assign instant access to the most important parameters of your mix, right here using these four rotary encoders and eight buttons. Now these are on three separate layers labeled A, B, and C, giving you 36 controls to easily customize for whatever your mix flow needs. Above that, we have scene navigation control, which will allow you to save and recall scenes and snippets, which are basically mini scenes like an effect or a channel strip setting or a group of channels. You will have 100 scenes, 100 snippets, and combine those together to get up to 500 cues. 
so lots of flexibility when it comes to setting up your shows on the M32. Above that, you will find some controls for the monitors and talkback sections, which even features an oscillator that could be very useful for getting set up and checking signal. Touching briefly on the output section, starting with the first layer, your eight DCAs. Now the DCAs allow you to control volume levels for multiple channels, so you can take your full 32 channel mix and put them right here on these eight faders for easier mixing. You also have two layers of eight for mix buses, and your fourth layer will show your six matrix mixes and your mono bus. Matrix mixes are great for sending to a balcony or overflow room, and on the M32, you even have crossover filters inside the EQs for your matrix mixes, so a lot of great uses for those. And the mono bus is great as well, perfect for sending signal to your subwoofers. Lastly, at the top of the console, we will find a USB recorder slot, which will allow us to record and playback uncompressed stereo wave files. It could also be used to back up or recall scenes or presets and load free firmware updates available at MidasConsoles.com. Starting on the back of the console, you'll find 32 of our legendary Midas microphone preamps. They're super clean and punchy to really elevate your sound. Below that are six additional quarter inch ins and outs, and the outputs are balanced and fully assignable so you can use them for whatever you like. They could also be used together to incorporate your favorite outboard gear. Next, we'll find some of our digital connectivity starting with our two ports of AES-50, both on locking Ethercon connectors. These are going to be used to connect to the DL16s and other digital stage boxes. You can also use these to digitally split off to another console, maybe at Monitor World or a broadcast booth, just by connecting two consoles with these two ports. Very useful to have. Moving over, we have the Alternet port, which is used to directly interface with Turbo Sound Select speaker systems with the acoustic integration feature, and can also be used with the P16 personal monitoring systems. We have AES-EBU digital stereo output and some MIDI connectivity. And then we find our remote port, which allows you to connect to an external router to open up the wireless mixing possibilities on the M32. We have free iOS, PC, Mac, and Linux-based apps available to download, so you can actually mix wirelessly with the console using your tablet or computer from anywhere in the room. You can download these apps for free at MidasConsoles.com. Finally, we have our expansion card slot, which comes preloaded with a DN32 USB module, which will give you a fully capable 32x32 32 32 channel audio interface for your computer. You can use this to record your shows and for virtual playback, or swap it out for other expansion card modules that are available like the DN32 ADAT, MADI, or Dante. Rounding out the back here, we have our 16 fully assignable XLR outputs, 15 and 16 are your left and right outs by default. And then we have dedicated outputs for your monitor bus that can be used to hook up studio monitors or a Q wedge at front of house. Lastly, a switch mode power supply that automatically adjusts for different voltages so you can take the M32 with you around the world. So this is the M32, the flagship model of the M series of digital consoles. For more information and tech specs, please visit MidasConsoles.com. I'm Eric and thanks for visiting us here at Music Studios.